Hi, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Matter All Around Us. This is a student reader in Unit 1. Observing Matter, Sticking to Rocks. One day, a scientist named Kai Chang Li was walking in the surf of the ocean. Lee observed a group of blue mussels on rocks under the water. Blue mussels are animals that live in the ocean. They attach themselves to other mussels and to rocks. So here are some blue mussels. Lee was curious. He wanted to know how the mussels could stick to the rocks even when strong waves crashed into them. Scientists like Lee use observations and experiments to find answers to their questions. An experiment is a scientific test. It is designed to answer the question the scientist is asking. It does this with data. Data are numbers and observations gathered from an experiment. All knowledge gained from experiments is part of science. Being a scientist, Lee took some of the muscles to his lab to study. He wanted to find the answer to a question. What material do muscles make that allow them to stick to rocks so well? Lee first did some research. Scientists know that blue muscles make their own kind of glue. Unlike most other glues, it works well in the water. It is so strong that the muscles stay put even when waves crash into them. What is matter? Lee studied the properties of the blue muscle's glue. A property is an observable or measurable characteristic of matter. Matter is what makes up all things. All matter is made up of tiny parts that are too small to be seen. These parts are called atoms. Blue muscles are made of matter. The glue the blue muscles make is also made of matter. Ocean water is made of matter. The air you breathe is made of matter. Rocks are matter. Water is matter. Air is matter. Properties of matter. There are many different kinds of properties. The ability to stick to different surfaces is one property. Another property is whether matter is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. For example, wet glue is a liquid. A liquid has no shape of its own. It takes the shape of its container. It also flows. Some liquids are thick. They flow slowly. Other liquids are thin. They flow quickly. Glue is a liquid until it dries then it turns into a solid. Solids are the only kind of matter with a shape of their own. They hold their shape until something changes them by force. Like liquids, solids have different properties. Color is one property. Texture is another property. It describes the way a material or object feels. Some materials have a rough texture. Some materials have a soft texture and some materials have a smooth or rubbery texture. Starting out as a liquid <clears throat> and turning into a solid makes glue useful. As a liquid, glue can flow into tiny cracks. When it turns into a solid, it becomes hard. When it is hard, it keeps different surfaces attached together. Matter can also be gas. A gas takes the shape of whatever it is in. Gases spread out to fill all of the space they are in, no matter how big the space is. We cannot see most gases. For example, air is made up of several different gases. So these balloons are filled with air. Changing matter. The properties of matter can change. For example, a change in temperature can sometimes cause matter to change. Temperature is a measure of heat. Matter warms up when heat is added. 
it cools down when heat is removed. Adding heat warms objects. Removing heat cools objects. One example of this is when you make ice. You pour liquid water into a tray. You put the tray into the freezer. After some time, that liquid water becomes solid ice because it has lost heat. If you take the ice out of the freezer, it will gain heat again. This will make it liquid water again. Sometimes heating matter changes its properties in a way that cannot be changed back. For example, when glue is heated enough, it becomes less strong. It doesn't hold objects together as well. When you add enough heat to a paper, it will burn. It becomes ashes and gas. It can never become paper again. After Lee researched the properties of blue muscle glue, he came up with a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a statement that answers the scientist's question and can be proved true or false. Lee then did many different experiments that tested his hypothesis. After many experiments, Lee found an answer to his question. He used that knowledge to create new glues that work both in and out of water. These glues are often used to hold pieces of wood together. Using materials, the stickiness of burrs. One day, a man named George de Mistral took his dog for a walk in the woods. George observed that burrs were sticking to his pants and his dog's fur. George was curious. He wanted to know how the burrs could stick to fabric and fur. Here, these are the burrs. They stick to different materials. The texture of Velcro. George studied the texture of the burrs. He wanted to know if he could make a new material that copied the texture of the burrs. This would allow it to stick to other things easily. After eight years of research and testing, George came up with a new material. He called it Velcro. Velcro is now used in many different items to hold two parts together. Velcro is a fastener. Materials and objects. Velcro is one kind of material. Materials are kinds of matter that are used to make up objects. There are many different kinds of materials. Plastic is a material. Cotton is a material. Metal is a material. Wood is a material. Some objects are made up of one kind of material. Some objects are made up of more than one kind of material. So these Legos are plastic. Properties and purpose. Like all materials, Velcro has more than one property. Velcro is also flexible. Flexibility is the ability of a solid material to bend easily without breaking. The flexibility of Velcro is why it is often used to fasten together different objects, such as clothing or sneakers. For example, it can bend across a person's foot on top of a shoe. Velcro's properties make it a good fastener. It is less useful for other purposes. For example, Velcro is not very helpful for cleaning up spills. This is because it is not absorbent. Absorbency is the ability of a solid material to soak up liquid. Paper towels are more useful for cleaning up spills. This is because they are more absorbent than Velcro. This also makes them useful for drying your hands. Velcro is also not very useful at holding up other objects. This is because it isn't very hard. Hardness is the ability of a solid material to keep its shape when an outside force is applied. 
Objects that are hard do not scratch easily. They also don't get dented or cut easily. Wood is harder than Velcro. This is why wood is sometimes used to hold other objects, such as in a bookshelf. Materials and their property. Metal. Solid at room temperature, smooth texture, shiny, hard. Glass. Solid at room temperature, smooth texture, hard, rigid or not flexible, it breaks easily. Transparent, we can see through it. Wood, solid at room temperature, hard, has a lined pattern. A pattern is something that happens in a regular and repeated way. Plastic, solid at room temperature, strong, lightweight. Solid foam, solid at room temperature, has pores or tiny spaces of air, and it's lightweight. Wow, I learned a lot reading matter all around us, and I had fun also. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun too. I'll see you tomorrow with another book. Bye.